Hey guys, today I'm doing the Shimanani Kaido. The Shimanani Kaido is Japan's most famous bike route. The cycling route starts in Imabari in Ehime and goes to Onomichi in Hiroshima. I took a bus from Kochi to Matsuyama in Ehime and then finally got to ride the Anpanman train which took us to Imabari. When we got there, we were greeted by these towels because Imabari is famous for towels. Good morning, so we just woke up in Imabari and we're starting this cycle today. We're going to stay in Ohishima tonight. So it's going to be about four hours of cycling with a lot of stops on the way. But first, let's go have some breakfast. The hotel provided us with a traditional Japanese breakfast. It was delicious. And then we made our way to the bike rental shop, which was walking distance from our hotel. There were so many bikes to choose from. I chose a blue mama cherry, which is a bike with a basket because I wanted somewhere to keep my nimotsu or backpack. The rental fee was 1,100 yen per day with a 1,100 yen deposit. So 2,200 yen for the first day or $20 USD and then 1,100 for the next two days. Oh, and it came with the helmet. There are seven points along the Shimanani Kaido route where you can rent and return bikes. So you don't have to do the full 80 kilometers if you just want to do a part of it, but you know, we were being daring. It took us about 30 minutes to cycle to the official starting point of the Shimanani Kaido. We took a break to look at this map to make sure we wouldn't miss any of the awesome sightseeing spots on the way. Our first challenge was to cycle over the Kurushima Kaikyo Bridge, which is the longest bridge on the cycle. It was actually one of my favorite parts of the cycle because of how beautiful the scenery off the bridge was. So let me show you what it looked like. the next island. We're in Oshima and we're gonna take the western coast route. It's supposed to be the best route for seeing the ocean. Apparently this route is boring, don't take this one. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna go to this shrine, Uzura Yawata Shrine. After riding for about 40 more minutes, we stopped for lunch at Paysan Bakery. This bakery is only open two days a week on Fridays and Sundays. While we were waiting, I scored a kabucha squash roll. This was their lunch menu. I got some coffee and a fried fish sandwich with french fries. We cycled for just about 15 more minutes before we came across Barakoen, which is Rose Park. And it's just a park filled with tons of beautiful roses of all different colors i was so happy in this place for those of you who don't know my middle name is rose my mom's name is rose my grandmother's name is rose rose is the state flower of new york where i am from so yeah i kind of love roses so yeah here are some highlights from rose park back on the road. We cycled for just about 40 more minutes before stopping again. This water break took place at the cycling sanctuary right before the bridge that took us to Hakatajima. Cycling sanctuaries are just stops near each bridge where cyclers can take a break. So we're almost done with Oshima and we're crossing the bridge to the second island. We're going to Hakatajima. Um, this is the bridge we're taking. Don't know how we're getting up there. 
wish us luck. So where are we now? We're there. And we're going up there. Yes. So, so far we did all this whole island. On the third and last bridge of the day, going from Hakatajima to Oni Omishima to Omishima. Oh my god, <laughs> this is a lot harder than I thought. I think my bike sucks, so we're gonna look into getting me a new bike for tomorrow. Maybe Mama Chari wasn't the best option, <laughs> but yeah, look at this view. You can see thunderstorms storms off in the distance. Awesome. I want to jump in the water. Finally made it to our guest house somehow before sundown. It was a traditional Japanese home. We found it on Airbnb and I will link it down below. Highly recommend staying here if you are passing through Omishima. The art on these closet doors was amazing. Anyway, the Airbnb was really awesome. The price was really cheap. The host was really amazing. Couldn't recommend this place more. There were some tea and sweets waiting for us when we arrived so that we can rest after the cycle. And yeah, I just had everything we needed. This was the common area and the entrance where we had breakfast in the morning. The host made us breakfast, by the way, and it was great. And then this was our bedroom. I could not figure out how to turn on the lights, but yeah, this was it. Just two standard beds that were pretty comfy. I immediately started making some tea and dug into the sweets right before we had dinner. We went to the Island Hostel and Cafe for dinner and oh my gosh, you guys, this was the most amazing meal I had on the cycle. They were able to make a full vegetarian meal and it was so good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned if you wanna see day two.